All right, guys, uh, Eric Johnson here, occupational therapist. So I'm sitting here with Zach. Um, Zach is one of my new friends, and we've uh, uh, kind of started talking about some gaming stuff and uh, some of his injuries and how that relates to being able to do some gaming. And apparently he wants to game while we're having this interview, but that's okay. Um, so Zach, tell us about yourself, um, how your injuries occurred, um, some of your deficits right now, and then you know where we're going from here. Uh, so uh, July 20th of last year, I was uh, I had just transferred to Texas State and I was going to attend the fall semester uh, when the apartment that I was living in, my Haunted Village apartment in San Marcos, was uh, deliberately set on fire. So um, in my apartment complex, there were 18 kids that passed, and from my apartment itself, I was the only one of the kids that survived. My two close friends passed, so um, uh, I jumped from the third story banister and I suffered a traumatic brain injury, which you can kind of see the indention yeah. of my skull, yeah. and I have third degree burns on 68% of my body, so uh, a little more than half of my body is burned, so from my chest upwards, my face, my back, arms were all sorts of burned, but luckily my legs were saved. Um, and that's where they took most of my skin grafts from. Okay, good. My uh, legs. And so when you, so you, you not only are dealing with um, uh, the burns themselves, you, the digit amputations, mm -hmm. but also the brain injury. Yes. And so you have multiple things happening at the same time. So um, uh, you, that was last July. Yes. Um, you were pretty much unconscious, not really um, aware of what was going on until. Uh, the holidays last year, is that yeah, right? Till, so from July 20th was the accident. My first cognitive memory was Christmas of last year. So for about six okay. months, I just kind of floated around. Okay, awesome. Um, so you're here at the Burn Center at um, San Antonio Military Medical Center, or the um, Institute of Surgical Research, um, as many of you know, where I used to work. Um, and Zach and his family contacted Warfighter Engaged and started talking to us about possible gaming options for him. And so, Zach, show, just kind of show what your hands look like now. So we have a few um, I have, uh, fingers on the right. My middle finger, part of its digit, my ring finger, part of its digit, and those are the two that I have. On this one, I, I, can, I lost all my digits. Mm -hmm. um, but on this one, I have a partial residuals. Okay, now do you have any wrist flexion on your left? On the left side, is there any flexion? It's, in, it's uh, very, very limited, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so, um, Zach is still in intense rehab, he's getting a lot of um, work with the therapists here um, with range of motion, um, with their day-to-day -day activities and whatnot. We spent some time together just watching him, um, you know, put on shoes and things like that and discuss some of the things that he wants to be able to do and one of the things you were talking about is wanting to be a public speaker, maybe an inspirational speaker, yes. comedian, things like that. Yes. Yeah, tell us a little about that. Is that kind of the direction you're gonna kind of go for you from here maybe? I would love to. So throughout high school, I was involved a lot with the arts, speech. My mm -hmm. speech teacher was amazing throughout high school and she's the one that kind of pushed me in that direction. Uh, I wanna do something more for burn survivors, people who yeah. have given care and to just be able to be a voice for the, I, I, I hope no one else is burned as bad, but if sure. someone is, be a voice sure. for them and let them know that it does get better. Yeah, I'd love to be able to speak on what ISR, BMC, and the whole rehab crew have done for me because they've given me more than, than I could ask for. They've yeah. really rebuilt my life, and if you would have told me four months ago that I would be here, where I'm at today, I, I would have laughed in your face. Yeah. Uh, they've done more than I can possibly say, and I want to be able to give back a little bit. Good, good. Well, we're looking forward to that, and I know that you're well on your way to that. So, But today we're talking about gaming. So one yes. of the things Zach um, was really interested in is to be able to play video games again with um, his siblings. Um, that was one of the things he talked about. He, he was telling me that Kingdom Hearts was a game that he grew up with and was able to play. So today we're actually going to do a little gaming with Kingdom Hearts, and we're excited to see him play again after his injuries. Um, what you see set up here is we have the Xbox Adaptive Controller. 
um, that we have uh, talked about quite a bit. Um, and we have some um, switches and buttons that we uh, 3D printed out of Warfighter Engage that he's using. Um, we have some foot pedals that he's using. Um, and we have co-pilot set up so that he's actually using the joystick from um, the stick on the uh, regular traditional controller. Uh, it seems to work best for him. So um, let's do a little bit of gaming and then uh, we'll talk a little bit after that and then go from there. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, let's get it. He's actually got some foot controls um, that he's um, using also. Um, you can see that he's doing just fine. And this is everything we want. This makes my heart so happy to be able to see him play. Um, so as we're setting things up like this, we're looking at like the subtle things that he's going to need to be able to do during the game. Um, and. Uh, and be able to problem solve for those. So pretty seamless so far, would you say? Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so Zach, um, first experience played Kingdom Hearts. Seemed to go okay? It was awesome. Awesome, good. Yeah, so, so I think we have a couple good options here for you. We're going to get you set up. It'll be um, pretty flawless. Um, it's going to take some practice, and that's one thing that we want to teach people is it's not like you just go in and you play like you played before. Yeah. Um, you play a little bit differently and that's the point. Um, gaming isn't meant to be, you know, something that's very, you know, seamless and flawless. You know, from the get-go you have to practice, you have to learn, you have to learn your body, you have to learn the game and then all of a sudden you have this beautiful um, thing come together and, uh, and you get what you get. So, um, so thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your story and uh, I appreciate you know what you're doing, what you're gonna do, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you know where where you go from here. So I really uh, appreciate you. Man. Um, Seriously. So we'll come back down and we'll kind of revisit all the stuff. We'll do some more gaming together, and okay. you know we look forward to that. All right. Uh, thank you all so right. much. Man. Thank you. All right. We'll see you guys later. Warfighter out. <laughs>